Hey guys, it's Judith, and welcome back to another episode of Timberweed Park. In the last episode, we managed to enter the factory, and now we're gonna explore it further, deeper into the factory, and hopefully be able to solve the mystery of Timberweed Park. I found out how to deactivate the SR001 machines and it's surprisingly simple. So what we're gonna do is push the panel. Warning, SR01 robots in patrol mode. So the panel has three different lugs that you'll need to reposition. We should readjust the red jumper at H45, the green one at C23 and the blue one at D45. So, the red one in H45. Danger. Danger! SR01 robots in attack mode. The green one in 23. And the blue one in. SR01 robots in maintenance mode. It is now safe to enter factory. That should disable the robots. It looks all clear now. The factory looks a little creepy with the robots themselves. Look at that, it looks like aliens. And I didn't know why they were installing viruses in the robots. When you think about it, isn't it kind of odd? So we have a locked door and then we have the office door there. So we're going to use the office key here. And look at the monitor. Uncle Chuck was really creepy. Who was he watching? I'd have to pick it up first. We need the glass cup which was left unwashed and she's gonna help us dust for fingerprints which we can later on use for the safe in Uncle Chuck's bedroom and hopefully open up the safe and see whatever is inside. So earlier on, Dolores had soot in her chimney, chimney? Fireplace. <laughs> and I made her pass the soot to Ray, which will then replace the powder, the now. powder of her dusting kit. And we're gonna use that on the cup, which will have the fingerprints and then following the tape. So now we got uh, Uncle Chuck's print, which we will pass to Dolores. Thank you. Thank you. And her job is kind of done. For now. For now. So in Dolores' case, we should check out Uncle Chuck's journal, Volume 2. Entry 3668. It is true. A lot made sense now. Where is Dolores' mother? Interesting. Entry 5129. Been spending more and more time in the lab with the AI and our test adventure. Text adventure, sorry. It's unlocking some interesting mysteries. My previous assumptions about it and the world seem to be correct. Entry 5201. More research and falling deeper into this rabbit hole. Odd things I never considered before are making sense. Timberweed Park has 80 residents, but 3,000 people in the phone book. It didn't make sense until I considered the impossible. Entry 5201. Oh my god. This is terrifying. Entry 202. The AI says there's only one way, but I started to suspect it. Is it telling me the truth? Entry 5203. We are being watched. I am being watched. The AI is not what it says it is. Entry 5205 I'm now convinced that the AI is not an AI at all, but something else. Something from a different world. The same world that the people from the phone book are from. Entry 5205 I created a small Tron tube that leaves deep, that leaves deep in my text adventure and is uncoupled from us. It keeps counting up and up. We must be resetting. Entry 5205 I need to go deeper. The deeper I go, the less they can watch me. 
They aren't paying attention to what happens below. They are only watching at the surface. Fools. Entry 5205. Franklin keeps trying to get the factory started to make stuffed animals. I can't let this happen. My world will be discovered. I need more power. Reversed radio transmissions might do it. Entry 5201. Franklin has been taken care of. I'd feel bad if he was my real brother. Oh, what? Okay. Entry 5202. Franklin called a Franklin called a foreign investor to come in and evaluate the factory for possible investment. The AI says I need to stop this. I don't know if I can trust the AI. Maybe I can. Entry 5203. I have a plan to deal with the foreign investor. I'll set the gears in motion. I can't tell if everything is unraveling or coming together. Entry 5201. Another reset. I can feel them now even without the uncoupled tube. Entry 5202. The Pillotron machine is done. The text adventure is perfect. I don't think they noticed. I can hide there, but before I go, I need to leave Dolores some clues. If anyone can figure it out, it's her. Entry 5203. This has to stop. There is only one way. I'm sorry. Ignorance is truly bliss if only I had stayed ignorant. If I just let Franklin make stuffed toys, we'd be rich and ignorant. Living in living in. I can't think about this. Entry 5204. This is my last journal entry. I'd say more but they can read this. I've hidden clues all around Timbuktu Park. I need to be careful they are not noticed by them. They need to think that it was their idea. Dolores will see through it. Please Dolores, be as smart and resourceful as I know you are. Goodbye. Well, okay, <laughs> that was pretty interesting. So apparently, Uncle Chuck had his own issues that he had to deal with. And now we gotta go back to the mansion and unlock the nice little safe. Let's use the tape. By the way, if you guys are curious, I actually changed the... That worked! There's something inside. I actually used the movie coupon on the movie Tron and it gave me a beta tape which apparently cannot be played so it's just like a secret achievement kind of thing that doesn't matter. Anyways, pick up the book. Chuck's password, top secret and the one that we need is this one, the long one. Office computer. <laughs> BBS games, BBS news. That's so cute. Okay. So, oops. <laughs> so now we're gonna head back to the abandoned factory, which we will use the password for. Oh yeah, we need disk. The disk is with him. And before we use the disk, we should also look at this. It's pretty heavy. Uh, it's a brick wrapped in aluminum foil. Hard to unwrap. It's a brick of C4 explosive. Better be very careful with this. So all these things are very important later on. But for now, his job is to pass Dolores the disc which she is going to use in the terminal. And give her. Thanks Thank a lot. you, and wrong person. <laughs> She's gonna use the disc and the terminal. It's booting up. Dolores, I feared you would come. Uncle Chuck? Where are you? I have uploaded myself into the Pillow Factory's master computer. Pillowtron? You uploaded yourself to Pillowtron? 
Not just the Pillotron, but the Pillotron 3000 TM. And I am now more intelligent and powerful than anyone in the world. The things I know would blow your mind. This is your mind. <laughs> this is your mind blown. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. The computerized world will bend to my every will. Uncle Chuck, you have lost your mind. No, Dolores, I have gained a mind. A more powerful mind. A mind linked to the fabric of creation. Join me, Dolores, before it's too late. I will not join you, Uncle Chuck. I will find you and stop this insane plan of yours. <laughs> Let the games begin. I feel bad for Uncle Chuck because we all know that whatever we just saw just now is probably an act so that he doesn't alert the AI and make them stop Dolores in her pursuit. So now we gotta go and go deeper into the factory which is... Uh, we need to do something pretty dangerous right now. Password? We're gonna use the adventure. And if you guys are curious, the adventure is... The answers for the adventure can be found within the hint book. I think I should show you guys. Because it's not fair that I know about it. <laughs> okay. So when you use the sushi gel with the book, it tells you that when you start the game, you should go to west first, and then you go west again, then you go towards the light, and then you go north, and then you choose this fizz cum thing. <laughs> it's also a little ridiculous, but you know. So let's start. Welcome to Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2, written and programmed by Ron Gilbert, copyright 1981, mods by Chuck Edman. You wake up in a damp and dank room. The floor is hard stone. A dim light is to your west, so we go to the west. You are in a long stone corridor with an exit to the east and west. It smells like death. So we go west again. You are in a large room with a beam of light coming in from an opening above. A river can be heard to the north. So we go to the north. Though if you want to know what's the light, the opening is too high to reach. So we go to the north. The path leads to a dead end. There is no way out except the way you came in from the south. There are strange cave paintings on the wall. So if we examine the paintings, there are all paintings depicting humans running in terror from robots. Other humans seem to be controlling the robots with joysticks and laughing. So now we say the magic word. You're not doing this without me. I want to be here too, please. I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're screwed. Fools! You are trapped in the factory with no possible escape. My intellect now spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. Shall we take a vote? All in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron 3000 TM and ruling the world with him say, I. I. <laughs> well, all in favor of being crushed by robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals say I. 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 Abstain. <laughs> so be it. Let no one say I don't support uh... a strong democracy and the will of the people. <laughs> you will now all die. Part 8 The Escape. So now it is up to the clown and Mr. Loris to help us solve the problem. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you can guess it. We have this nice little 
explosive which we will attach onto the door. And we also have the candy dispenser that uses fire. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, kind of like last year. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. So now that his job is sort of done, he's gonna pass this to Dolores, which we will need later on. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And he will go and explore the stairs. So. Clever, you crashed my computer! Five, four, three, two, one, emergency reboot. There is no way to get by my computer controlled robot arms of death! Yeah, I'm just gonna off it. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick up the dust. Bye. So at this point in time, his job is pretty much done. Thank you. And now we need the Loris, who will wear her pretty little hat and we're gonna use the tin foil as well there so you might be wondering oh why do we need a tin foil hat well uncle chuck has <laughs> that you will never get past my searing lasers of doom PM. you are doomed hold on hold on wait a sec i want to turn down the volume so you can hear my maniacal rant i just piped the sound in so it feels scarier lasers are actually as silent as a baby's bottom anyway you are doomed you will never get past my searing lasers of death tm you pesky kids will never thwart my plan there is no way to get past my lasers of death tm you know what's so funny about his lasers of death you will never defeat me if you try using any character I filed this as a bug report any character that doesn't have the f tinfoil hat they will just, just wait for the lasers of doom tm 2.0 they will just complain ha! that it's hot ha! and they will just Didn't escape you're cheating ha! ha! right up. Ha! i filed this as a bug report Pounce right up. Pounce right up. i filed this as a bug report DA. and anyways we should pick up the dust and turn off the fan so that's the sign as well and I'm gonna look at that. Servicing call 7674. And who can call the nice dude, of course. So we're gonna call them. I hope I remembered it right. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is on. Turning fan off in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is off. Thank you. So that means we can... I think I can squeeze past the fan now. Exactly. Yay. Overheating won't hurt me. So, because the computer is Your attempts to so strong, it needs to cool down with a big fan. And as a result, we need to call again and activate it again. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is off. Turning fan on in 3, 2, 1. Current state of the fan is on. Thank you. So your attempts to overheat me are pointless. Yeah, yeah. Shush. Noisy. Overheating won't hurt me. Uh huh. Okay. I am impossible to touch while superheated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna open the trap door. This is your last warning to turn. I think Uncle Chuck is like really noisy as a computer presence. 
Dolores, it's not too late to join me and merge with the mind of Pillowtron 3000. PM. And now we're gonna do something very, very important, which is to use this strange tool that we had since you the beginning. You will never defeat me. And we're gonna. You use... will never defeat me. We're gonna use it here. Yay. Dolores, please save me. I feel kind of sad for him. Anyways, so now it's Dolores. This is your last warning to turn back. Is Dolores's mission to enter? Dolores, you are making a big mistake. What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillowtron 3000 PM. Together, we are now invincible. You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a to be a game designer. You've been corrupted by bad tube technology. I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck. Or what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the evil laugh. Now we're gonna- You will never defeat me. We're gonna deactivate him. Death. You can't defeat me, Dolores! Dolores, shutting me down will only make me stronger! You will never defeat me! Help me, Dolores! I think past a certain point, he just gets noisy and annoying. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Yeah, he's malfunctioning. <laughs> you will never defeat me. Totally. Save me, Dolores. You found all the clues I left. I knew you would save me. Totally. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. I knew you would figure it out and come for me. Wait, I'm confused. If he uploaded himself to the Pillotron, right? I knew you would figure it out and come for me. Where's his body? Did the AI kill him off or did he kill himself? Save me, oh, wait, what am I saying? He's dead. <laughs> He's in the tomb. Help me, Dolores. Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. Hmm. You're insane! I'm not crazy. I need to tell you about something I discovered. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay. One, you lock me in here and I can't get a chair. And two, how can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point. But it's going to get crazier. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. Agricultural investment? No! Artificial intelligence! I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to lighten the mood. As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing <laughs> secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. Hmm, I see. Uh... Couldn't you just shut off the Tron machines? It wasn't that easy. They had become more powerful and taken control. I was also addicted to the power they gave me. Oh, poor thing. Was this after the factory burned down? They burned down the factory as a warning, forcing me to rebuild it in secret and pin the blame on the security guard. What? Okay. I'm not convinced you're not crazy and insane. I know how it must sound, Dolores. Everything I learned slowly drove me crazy. Let's move on, Uncle Chuck. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text adventure. Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Yeah, and... <laughs> Shower! Pirated! Purchased! Well... I mean... <laughs> downloaded? <laughs> you mean it was purchased online? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. Hmm... It matters to thousands of people who earn a living making games. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? 
The more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. Oh, great. <laughs> Worse than a simulation. We are all just characters in a video game. Ah, great fourth wall stuff. What? That's so insane. That's insane. Think about it, Dolores. Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Have you ever spoken about her or even thought about her? No. No, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. <laughs> 3,000 people. No school? So what if there's no school? Maybe a home school, right? <laughs> One house. Uh... Like we go around collecting specks of dust? That's not dust you're collecting. They are pixels, the building blocks of our world. They are put there to prey on the compulsive among those in the upper world. I didn't actually pick up all the dust, unfortunately. <laughs> mm. Like there being no school in Thimbleweed Park? And only one kid in the whole town. Do you remember going to school? Having any friends? No, I don't. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes, there are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. Like the highway ends out by the bridge? Ever walked out there? Ever wanted to walk out there? You don't have the desire because it wasn't programmed into you. It's not part of the game. Like there is only one house in the whole town? Exactly! Where does everyone live? We have only one house in a town of 80 people! Like everyone fourth walls about adventure games? Everyone asks a lot of questions about adventure games and adventure game design, don't they? Well, adventure games are cool. Who wouldn't want to talk about them? Yeah, okay, valid point. <laughs> I like that one. Like the sheriff and the coroner are the same actor? Exactly! Probably saves money on voice acting talent and art and animation. Probably. Like next to the bus station is an unfinished screen? There are whole areas of this town that are unfinished, and you conveniently say, I can't go there. Why can't you go there? Do we ever think about that? No. <laughs> I've heard enough. I believe you, Uncle Chuck. Well, I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. We have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. If they do that, we're caught back in our endless cycle of pointless pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillotron 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's the only way we'll truly be free. This game better not delete the game because I'm gonna get angry. <laughs> oh gosh. We don't have free will? No, Dolores. You only have three things you can say. Two now. Can you make yourself say anything else? N not really. Delete the world and end our existence? Yes, it's the only way. The developers keep rebooting us back into the same story over and over. They will do anything to keep us from deleting the game. Thimbleweed Park is a cash cow. They can't let it end. But I am shutting down Pillowtron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. What? The developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. Let's do this thing. Wait, what? We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind-blowing. What the f***? It's all fake, like my ex-wife. I know none of this is real now, but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the limelight. I've hidden away four inventory items that will fulfill your endings. Take them and you'll be free. Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hopes of keeping it from you. Your only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. 
I'm going deeper into the simulation now, so they can't find me. Good luck, and hurry! I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, <laughs> Ransom. <laughs> ah, Fred. Gosh. Part 9. The Deleting. Gosh, man. Shall I go to another room? Okay. The static isn't so strong here. So now we got different things to do. I need to do something with this balloon animal and venture into the wireframe world to shut down the original Pillotron. Escaping from the endless cycle of pretend choice depends on me. But most important of all, I need to say goodbye to Dad. Say goodbye to Dad, figure out what to use this balloon animal with, and shut down wireframe Pillotron in the wireframe world. So now we no longer need to collect dust and I have a feeling that maybe in a few episodes we're gonna end the video. I'm not sure, I don't know, maybe we still have hours to go. But as it stands, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Timberweed Park. I'm not sure whether Uncle Chad's reasoning of how the game is in a simulation and all that is really that exciting. <laughs> half ending sort of thing like a explanation but I guess it's sort of okay it didn't really surprise me or anything because everybody just kept on making fourth wall comments and like self-aware comments which made it kind of like you know even if you like a certain food if you eat too much of it you get sick or if you use a certain trope too much, it gets kind of boring and it loses its meaning or significance. So yeah, I sort of am not too surprised, but well, what can we do about it, right? <laughs> and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Timberweed Park. Like and subscribe if you want to watch more. As per usual, new episodes of Timberweed Park come out every Friday, 2pm EST time. And there is gonna be a new otome dating sim game every saturday which is called amnesia memories and the first episode will be going right up after a day after this video so you know tomorrow and yeah as per usual the otome game will be up every saturday at 2 p.m est time and i hope you guys have a great week ahead and bye